everybody welcome to my channel today i wanted to show you how i do my lash extensions this is something that i saw on tiktok and so i ran to cvs and i bought it and i really liked the turnout so i'm going to be doing them again because as you can see i don't have any extensions on i had them on for about a week and i chose to remove them because i wanted to film a video give you my thoughts and my review and also a little bit of a tutorial so let's get started first things first i'm going to remove my hair out of my face and I have this mirror in front of me so I can be as precise as possible make sure you wash your face and that you don't have like any maybe lash glue or mascara on your eyes from like a previous day or something so the good thing about this kit is that it literally comes with everything you would need it comes with a spoolie a high quality tweezer um, the lash glue the remover and the false lashes so once I'm done with the false lashes I feel like I can go and just buy I only lash refills and not the rest of the items obviously until I run out of those so I think it's a good bang for your buck for only $12 in the kit you'll see that it comes with glue pockets meaning where they want you to apply the glue so that you have easy access to it but I recommend not doing that because the glue dries really fast and so by the time you put it on your eyelash it's already dry and it's not gonna stick well what I'm gonna do is simply press and have it come out at the very tip and then dip the extension on there and coat the strip so that I can put it to my eyes like immediately and that way I'm not wasting any glue. The kit also comes with short lashes and medium lashes in terms of length. So I'm going to apply the medium ones at the end and some short ones in the middle. I personally am going to leave the middle area of my lashes blank, like with no lash, because I like how it looks. It's a little more natural and I technically have to worry about less lashes falling out in general. So to demonstrate, here is the lash on the tweezers. And then here's the glue and I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze some out. There's obviously a particular way that you're going to apply the lash so that it like mimics your natural lash. And I recommend you really focusing the glue on that part that's immediately sticking to your lash instead of like dipping the whole thing in because you don't really need it at the back end. And that's where it's more likely to get in your eye and maybe sting you. So just kind of coat the top Part of your lash where you're going to apply it so this is a medium one and i'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the outer lash and just leave it you, you gently place it on there and just leave it and then you can fix it and adjust it the angle of it and the placement but just let it at least for a second adhere to the lash If you are kind of a squirmish person when it comes to like your eye area, I wouldn't recommend this for you because it's something that you like, look how pointy this is and how close I'm getting it to my eye. I have no qualms in terms of, you know, like being like touching my eye. So it's not a problem for me, but just like a warning for those that are eye sensitive that it might not work in your favor. If you're going to be really teary eyed and stuff, it's going to affect how your lashes come out. So right now, as I attempted to put on the second lash, um, I was struggling a bit and then I realized it wasn't going to catch on because the glue has already dried. So what you do is just clean it. If you want, you can get a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol just to be extra sanitized. And I'm just going to redo it. Like it happens. It's a little frustrating, but it's okay as long as you like move on and then act quickly. So once it's on there, um, I like to clean the tweezers because it does get the glue on to the tip and so I just want to make sure it's clean so that when I go back in there and adjust there's no reason for the lash to want to stick to the tweezer accommodate all right there we go lash number two and let me tell you that at first it, they're gonna look a little stiff I don't know like you might not love the look of them but after maybe a day once they settle into your lashes and you're able to like blend them in with the spoolie that you get it's gonna look a lot more natural and a lot better. Um, another thing I noticed is that I kind of like how they look after I wash my face. I guess like getting them wet sort of removes like the stiffness that it has when you first take it out of the package. So right now I have three 
on the outer edge of this eye and I haven't started yet but I did want to note like a disclaimer that when I first did it it burned my eye but now that I'm doing it the second time and I know exactly how to do it it doesn't burn so the reason that this might happen to you is because maybe you're putting it a little too close to your lash line and even though the directions on the box say to put as close as possible to the lash line they don't mean the actual lash line because once it hits the lash line it's gonna burn you because it's gonna get into your eye but it hasn't burnt me at all so far because it's right above the lash line at the root of your lash and I have a friend actually who did it on top because it, like, it bothered her and she couldn't figure out how to do it from the bottom so it's another technique that you can try it's just doing it from the bottom hides the strip and from the top if you do it right then maybe it won't matter i mean in the end it looks good on her regardless so you can give it a shot if you feel like again you're maybe a little too sensitive in the eye area and it'll be uncomfortable for you to do it from underneath I was messing around with it too much and it came off so that's another thing just have a lot of patience and know that eventually it will stick but you have to be gentle with it and it's not like false eyelash strip where you use lash glue and you have to like make sure it's like really on there it's just very gentle like let the glue do its thing and it will stick it's just that if you kind of force it i don't know it works against you i don't know the science behind it but it works against you Okay, so in the end, I ended up putting four lashes on the end and three in the inner corner. And I like how they look. They look a little maybe uneven, but I'm gonna wait for the glue to really solidify. And then that way I won't be afraid to spoolie through them and have them fall out. Because one good thing about this glue is that once it sets, I remember my first week, I was kind of tugging on it. I don't know why, just to see like how secure it was. And it was pulling my eyelash and hurting me essentially. So I know if I would have pulled really hard, it probably would have ripped my, my eyelash. So please be very careful when you're using this product. If you don't want to have the lashes anymore, it does come with a remover and um it's i think it's like oil based i'm not entirely sure but what i do let's say specifically if i just want to remove the um, inner corner lashes but i want to keep the outer corner ones i'll put some of this on a q-tip and just kind of let it sit let it marinate and stuff this does sting your eye a little bit and it'll dissolve the glue so that you can easily remove the lash if you don't want them anymore without harming your lashes after my first week of using them and having re them removed i didn't notice that i was missing any eyelashes and it seemed like it was a safe and cheaper alternative to like getting eyelash extensions that are like $150 and last two weeks and leave you like with no lashes so I like them I'm gonna go ahead and fluff them out and I'll show you the final look here is the final look I feel like a true baddie, you know, with these lashes on, like I woke up like this and they're honestly pretty low maintenance. The only recommendation I have when it comes to showering and washing your face is just to be a little gentle around the eye area. You know, you probably won't be putting soap in your eye, but I know for a fact that when I wash my face, you know, I'm using the cleanser. And so I just kind of avoid the eye area and, you know, clean like, around it and then i will splash water onto my eyes and my lashes and even when i dry my face i pat it so it just kind of forces you to be a little more gentle and thoughtful around your eye area which you should be doing anyway because the eye the skin around the eye is very sensitive and so you don't want to tug on it or anything like that and cause wrinkles but i really like how these look and right now they're fresh but i notice that as the days go by they kind of like loosen up and kind of blend in with your natural lash like i mentioned earlier and so it's gonna look a lot better more natural if that's what you're going for or if not whatever the case is but i'm a fan and shout out to my friend maria for trying them first and letting me know the tips and tricks now all my friends who have tried this we all look like baddies 
so it's the next morning and i wanted to show this part of the process because it does happen and so when i woke up and like i rubbed my eye you know just naturally um one of the lashes here fell off and one of the one here and the end was like not sitting right i don't know i'm not liking it and this one is heavy on the end i'm gonna even them out see how i feel and then readjust so this is how you would remove it so i have the remover here and a q-tip and i'm gonna place a very small amount and if anything i'm actually going to spread it on the q-tip just to evenly coat it i'm gonna pull up and put it there try to focus on just the lash area because if you get it in your lash line and you it's gonna get in your eye and it will sting a little just warning but with a few blinks it'll go away and then i'm gonna do this and just have patience you know try not to um pull the hair with your hand like just gently tug on it with this you know i feel like it could use some more don't be shy put some more i feel like it's already coming off oh it already yeah it was see literally three out of the four that i had they came off it's honestly a struggle and i was feeling pretty confident yesterday i was like Oh my god, it was so easy, blah blah blah. And now look at me. So now I'm just removing the lashes, like separating them. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean them and reuse them. I normally wouldn't recommend reusing them. Like, you know, let's say you've had these for two weeks and you're gonna reuse them. Like, that's a no no. But um, because I just had these on, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put them back on. Thank you for tuning in and let me know if you're gonna get the lash if you like this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and if you have any questions comment down below and i will be happy to answer them about my experience and all that good stuff with these lashes bye